Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel or welcome back if you are a brand new viewer. My name is Diamond, aka Lady Leo. I'm a lover of all things nail polish, makeup, movies, TV shows, all sorts of things. My hope is that you come to my channel, find something that you like, and hit the subscribe button. So I'm still high from the Taylor Swift Eras Tour concert film, that's a mouthful, that I said that I saw last week, and I was thinking all week long as I've been binging all of Taylor's catalog about doing a fun nail related video. Now I know I saw Simply Nail Logical do this several months ago because she and Ben actually went to uh, the Eras tour uh, live and she tried to recreate uh, Taylor's manicures from the picture that she saw. So I'll probably be inserting the picture that I found right here, but I don't wanna recreate Taylor's nails. I do wanna do my own interpretation, interpretation, interpretation. That's how you say that word. <laughs> so I'm gonna do my own interpretation of the errors on my nails. So we've got 10 errors, and I don't know how I still got it wrong in my original video and nobody called me out on it. I think I said she had 13 albums and then I miscounted and I put a little note in there for 11. I don't know, I can't count, it's 10. So anyway, that's perfect because I have 10 hands when I have 10 nails. <laughs> I can't talk today because I have 10 nails. I am going to be going through and I'm going to be doing my own recreation and I'm not trying to style it after what Taylor did. I'm just trying to interpret the errors in my own way for each of my nails. We're going to be starting off with my show hand working from my thumb to my pinky then we'll move over to my dominant hand and we're going to go in order of the set list the way that it is in concert. So we're going to be starting off with Lover. Okay, before we go straight into lever though, I need to clean up my nails. So this is what I have on my nails right now. I've had this manicure on for about a week, which is a little long for me. I normally change my nails a couple of times a week. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and take it off, clean up my nails, and then next time you see them, they'll be fresh and clean for us to get started on lever. <laughs>
so my nails are all good to go I have buffed them trimmed them trimmed the cuticles they're all nice they're not sort of uniformly even but that's okay that's not really my style uh, I just like to get them to a point where they look nice and good. Okay, great. So nails look good and we are starting off with the lover error. So we're going to be starting on my show hand, which is this hand, and we're starting off with the thumb. So I could go in a couple different directions with lover and the first thing that comes to mind is the actual album cover itself. So it's like a powder blue background and then you have Taylor in the middle and she's wearing like a heart on her cheek. So there's that and then I also like I like a lot of the outfits from the for the lover era but the one that sticks out to me the most is she's wearing like this silver bodysuit and then there's like some accents of blue and pink. Oh, sorry blue and red uh, so I really like that bodysuit but I think I'm gonna go with my first idea which is to do a powder blue background and then I'm gonna try and do a stamping heart and then just a scattered hollow taco on top of it so I went over to my nail polish collection I found this powder blue so this is moon cat and I will put in the description to like all the different uh, products I'm using. I'll break it out by uh, by the error too, just in case you're interested. So this is Moon Cat, and this is Sinking Feeling. Oops, let me zoom in. So we got Moon Cat Sinking Failing Feeling to be the blue background, and then we have the red, which is going to be left on red. This is from Hollow Taco, and then we're also going to do a scattered hollow taco topper. So this is what we're gonna do. And then the top and base coat will be the same for all of them. I'll put that in the description below, but that's not that amazing. So let me also break out my stamping plates because they're gonna be stamping the heart. I gotta see what I got. I got a lot of different stamping polishes. Oh, you know what? I need a cleanup brush too. Let me just take that out. All right, took out the cleaning brush. Let me see. Okay, I've got a lot of stamping plates, so let's see if we've got anything that could be just like a small heart. Oh, it's kind of like hearts in my first palette. So we got this, oops, out of frame, let me, all right. So I've got this stamping plate right here. I've got another stamping plate. I just kind of want a single heart and something that's more of like a heart outline. So there's another alternative. I don't know how many hearts I have. I'm sure I've got a lot of stamping plates. Ooh, ooh I just saw another one. Hang on, so let's see, we've got this one right here too. We're doing that stamping plate, and then, so this is Lover. So I automatically knew I wanted to do gold for Fearless, but I couldn't decide fully what I wanted to do. So what I decided to do was to do gold and silver and do them as like brush strokes, but then I wanted to do something that wouldn't be like a background that would compete with that. So I'm gonna go with this sheer backdrop from Orly. 
backdrop. So I'm going to go with this sheer base from Orly. So I'll probably end up just doing two coats of it so it's because it's going to be super sheer anyway. I'm not trying to like make it fully opaque. I just want something to use as a backdrop for what I'm doing. And then I'm thinking about doing like brush strokes. So we've got this gold polish from Enchanted Polish. And then I've also got this silver from Hollow Taco. So yeah, so I'm gonna do a nice sheer base and then we'll do some brush strokes. So this is Fearless. So next up we have Evermore and I kind of had two mindsets about Evermore so like the cover of the album is very like fall it's like cardigan and flanagans and very fall tones which is good for this time of year but I was also specifically thinking about the outfit that she wore for Willow so she's wearing like this gold sort of antique style dress and then she has like this really beautiful deep teal coat like a bell coat like bell from beauty and the beast like all the way to the floor and that is the one that's kind of sticking out in my mind so i decided to do this kind of hybrid between the two so i'm gonna do a white base so we're gonna do we're gonna do moon cat this white base right here the gold and the teal and i'm gonna sponge those together to make like a sponge gradient And then I also have this stamping plate, which reminds me of like the Evermore album cover. Now, there's a couple different ones I could use. I'm gravitating towards this one because I think this one reminds me of flannel the most. This will be overlaid on top of it once I sponge it on. And I'll do that in black. Or maybe I'll do it in white. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it in black or white yet. I think I'll do it in black. And then I'm also gonna mattify it. Okay, and that will be Evermore. I think what I should have done to start with is just to do what I ended up doing in the end, which is just kind of applying the polish with a brush to do like a sort of watercolor effect. I mixed too much of the teal and the gold, which made a little bit too much of a green color. So yeah, this is a little bit more green than teal, but I still like it. I think next time what I'll do is I'll just 
aim for the watercolor um, so that I can keep the colors a little bit more separate as opposed to doing the sponging where I blended them. Uh, I wasn't intending to blend them. I sh if I was going to do sponging, I probably should have kept them separate, like maybe done teal on the bottom, gold on the top. But you know, you live and you learn. So I still like this one, but it just leans a bit more green and gold than it does sort of uh, teal and gold that I was going for. But this is Evermore. <laughs> Next up we have Reputation. So when I think about Reputation, I think about sort of black because the album is, is mainly black with white and then I know she's wearing a lot of black when she did the Reputation tour, which I forgot was on Netflix. I did go back and watch that because like I said, I've been in a Taylor Swift binge for the last week. So the outfit that she was wearing um, in the movie, she it was, it was mostly black with some red accents. I think it was like a red snake. So I like that kind of aesthetic of doing black and red. So I'm gonna do something super simple and I'm just gonna do a gradient. I'm using quotes because I'm not gonna actually like use a sponge to do the gradient. So I'll just do black at the bottom and then I'll just do red at the top. So it'll be gradient-esque without me having to use a sponge because anytime I actually try to do a gradient, it never goes the way that I want it to. So I just don't wanna use a sponge. But yeah, that's gonna be super simple and that's reputation. Next up is Speak Now. Speak Now is one of my favorite albums from Taylor. It's in my top three. So for this one, I was thinking definitely like pinks and purples or reds, somewhere in that family, because I was thinking of a combination of the album cover. If I'm not mistaken, there's two album covers for Speak Now. There's like her wearing a purple dress and her wearing a red dress. Uh, and I'm talking about the original, it's not when she re-recorded it. I think one of them is the deluxe album, but I feel like the purple one is the one I associate more with Speak Now. And then I'm also thinking about the dress she wore. I've seen her in a pink dress when she was singing Enchanted, and then the dress she wore in the actual movie is purple. So I decided to go with purples and pinks and to do, not necessarily watercolor, but to do like apply them with a brush 
to mix them up so they're kind of varied and then to do a linear hollow topper on top of that so you get those underlining colors and then you get that linear hollow to add that sparkle because her dress was really sparkly and pretty uh, so I definitely picked way too many colors considering this is gonna be my pinky but uh, we're gonna vibe with it this is speak now we're going into red and I am going to get super literal with this one I knew that I was going to use like a bunch of different reds and I thought about just doing sort of like a dot of cure so I'm gonna do a sheer base so I can let all of the different reds shine and then I'm just gonna do a dot of cure and go in there and dot in with lots of different reds for red <laughs>
Okay, just a little update here, sorry. Sorry for the messy application on my thumb on the red error. It's very difficult to kind of get everything in focus because this is my this is my right hand, so I don't normally film my right hand. And I am struggling with my thumb as well, so apologize. Uh, it, it probably goes in and out of focus as I try to I try to manipulate my hand in a way that you can see me do the dotic here. Uh, so it would be it would be <laughs> it would be red that would be on my thumb, which is just I chose to do like seven different shades of reds as a dotic here, which is just difficult in and of itself, let alone having to do the thumb and, and film it. So apologies, just letting you know it will. You'll probably go in and out of focus for red but the the rest of them on my right hand should be fine because you won't have to i won't have to contort it like i do my thumb okay bye We have folklore so there's a couple different directions I was thinking about going with folklore so when I think about the album um, I think about like the trees and the forest and the woods and so that's one direction but the thing that I keep going back to that sticks out in my mind like visually is like during the whole folklore set there is this beautiful grand piano that is like covered in moss different colors moss and I'm gonna use that as inspiration and I'm gonna use different shades of green in the same sort of tonal family as I can recall that moss being. I'm gonna sponge them on with a different type of sponge than I did before. So hopefully I'll have more success and it'll come out like the way that I want it to. And then I'm just gonna make it matte because I think it would just look really pretty matte. So that is what I'm gonna do for folklore. diamond here just popping in to just add a clarification I may have misremembered where Taylor uses that moss covered piano I thought it was part of the folklore set I mean I do remember in folklore she had like a whole cabin in the woods set up but I know that she also sang like six or seven songs in folklore so I didn't think she was at that setup the whole time but she could have done the moss piano for the evermore set Honestly, I don't remember because I've only seen the film concert once. So if I misremembered or I misspoke, I apologize. However, I feel like the inspiration is still fine because I was going to go with something sort of forest adjacent and moss grows in the forest. So, you know, still works. And I ended up liking this one a lot. Anyway, sorry, just editing diamond popping in here just to clarify. If I misremembered anything, I apologize. I thought it was part of the folklore set, but it could have been part of the Evermore set. Okay, bye. Next up we have 1989. So as somebody that was born in 89 myself and grew up in the 90s, I couldn't, I, I kind of couldn't think of what I wanted to do for 1989. So I went back and forth between like a lot of different ideas, between doing something like with a white background and like, you know, like that school kind of um, shavings. I don't know if that, that even makes sense. Maybe if I find a reference, I'll insert it in. But then I thought about Hollow Taco has this collection that they did, which is sort of inspired by the 90s. And that was their fourth anniversary collection. And they're like different jelly hollows that you can layer on top of each other as well to make fun colors. So I'm ultimately gonna do a sheer base. And then I am gonna be using the different jelly polishes from that collection. And just probably, I'm gonna try doing maybe a brush or maybe I'll just do like the tip of the nail to do something like that and that's gonna be 1989.
Moving on to, so this one is technically, I'm gonna use it as the debut album. And I think she does a couple songs from her original debut album right before she does Midnight's. So using the album as inspiration, I am going to do just something super simple, a green and a sort of teal, because when you look at the background of that album, she has, I think it's green on the top and then sort of like a, something blue on the bottom um, in the background. Um, so I'm just gonna do that. Instead of doing it horizontally though, I'm gonna do it vertically. So split the nail half and half, one color down each, and that is gonna be super simple and I'm gonna do that for her debut album. because this is my favorite album, is The Midnight's Era. So for Midnight's, I have two very distinct color palettes that came to mind when I was thinking about doing Midnight's. So I have Lavender Haze, so I was thinking about doing something in the lavender family, maybe doing a sponge or maybe doing like a stamping plate, but then I keep thinking about Midnight's, specifically Midnight Rain, which is my favorite song on this album. When I think about Midnight, I think about like a deep blue sky full of stars. So I decided to go with like a galaxy in a bottle as a nail polish and then do something simple, just do like a reflective glitter on top of it to represent Midnight's. Plus I also really like the blue outfit that she wears for Midnight's. It's like a blue bodysuit and it's really, really pretty. So I was also inspired by that too.
All right, so I've got my nails all done. You can see them right next to each other. So I've got both hands here, so a little footage of both of those. So if I had to go in and pick a top three for each hand, starting off with my non-dominant hand, so that's my left hand, my top three would be Reputation, which is on my ring finger, Speak Now, which is on my pinky, and then Fearless, which is my index finger. And for my other hand, so that is my dominant hand, which is my right hand, my top three are gonna be Red, Folklore, and Midnights. So those are my top six for the ones that I did, but I did have so much fun making this. It was a labor of love. I do have some final comparisons here too, so you can see all the nails right next to each other. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a favorite error from the ones that I did, and if you have a favorite error from Taylor's in general in terms of like your favorite album. Click the like button if you liked this video, and also you can subscribe if you wanna see more content like this from me. I do make other types of content too, so I'm getting into movie reviews, TV show reviews. I hope to get into vlogging later on down the line as well. So if you wanted to subscribe to me, I would love to have you. All right, well that's my time. I'll catch you later. Bye.